So Aaron, this is for you. How do you think Ghanaians see Nigerians? Ah, uh, this one. Be truthful. Yeah, I'm being truthful. That's why I was like this one. There's this general notion <laughs> among Ghanaians that um, Nigerians are bad. Nigerians are um, bad in general. <laughs> <laughs> like, and there's not that word, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's because it's there are so many things that Ghanaians assume Nigerians do that I'm like, sometimes I hear something, I'm like, wait, what? Do you think there's no Ghanaian who is like this? Do you get me? Like, yeah. when I remember, sometimes when I tell um, people that, or oh, I have a bunch of, I'm closer to Nigerians than I'm, I am to Ghanaians. And I try, I, I prefer to have more chats with the Nigerians than with the Ghanaians. Most Ghanaians go like, hey, Nigerians, <laughs> be careful. First thing, I'm like, what do you mean be careful? First off, I personally think that the reason there is that notion is that Ghanaians are very conservative. We are very always trying to be cool we are always trying not to cause trouble we are always trying to um be nice that generally because generally, you know, not yeah there's definitely some exceptions some pe- exceptions but generally we are always trying to be like that on the other hand if you mess with the nigerian charlie they would mess with you like let's be real <laughs> and yeah, that's the truth. It's not all about me. I'm not like that. No, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm building my point. And that's the truth. The truth is, when you do something to someone and they don't appreciate it, they should be confident it's enough it's to it's tell you, I don't, <laughs> I don't like this and that and that that you did. But most mm. Ghanaians would rather be quiet and suffer the pain. A Nigerian would tell you to your face. And sometimes Ghanaians don't like to be confronted mostly so with that alone that if you mess with the nigerian they'll confront you to your face Ghanaians are scared of that so it's like oh no that's a bad behavior no it's not a bad behavior you You have to tell the person you have to tell the person i i didn't enjoy this this that that you did so please next time don't repeat it and then you're you are both now on the same page and you're able to move on and yeah. there's also this weird thing. I'm, I'm, I, I, no, I didn't want to go there, but let me go there. This weird thing that Nigerians are armed robbers or thieves or some ridiculous nonsense like that. That's not the case. Okay. Heck, most Nigerians in Ghana are either students or they are here hustling to make like a living for themselves. They are not going about stealing from anyone. Like, no, they're not. I think that we need to come to the mindset that people in general are weird. People in general can be bad. People in general can be good. People in general can be amazing. Okay, we shouldn't just, because someone has a slightly different belief than we do, or a slightly different reaction or to a certain situation, than we would we think oh no then they are bad no 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 that that's that's not the situation at all at all at all at all uh-uh. so, yeah okay thanks for clearing that up you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome i'm here 247 <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me talk about, or we can also share our own various ideas. The cost of living in Ghana, I don't want to say Ghana, I want to say Accra. Mm? Mm-hmm. Cost 
of living in Accra compared to cost of living in Abuja. I'm missing Abuja because capital, capital. <laughs> because I found out that, in fact, living there, we would not really notice that the cost of living is expensive because the currency is not like ours. You know, we can spend one CD, five CDs, you know, to do um, stuff. But when you spend the equivalent of five cities in Nigeria just to buy something small, you'd be like, eh? But looking back, if you if, if, if you can tell, the cost of living in Accra is actually higher than the cost of living in Abuja. And it's quite strange. You know, you, you would people see Nigerians and say, oh, Nigerians are rich people. Oh, Nigerians are rich people. Eh? So one would expect that Abuja should be more expensive because in Nigeria, I think Abuja is one of the, if not the most expensive places to live in in Nigeria. Then Accra also is the most expensive place to live in in Ghana. If you compare Accra to other places like Takra Day, Kumasi, Accra is way like three times more, right? Yeah, yeah. Three times more. Accra is very expensive. Yeah, so well, well, of yeah, living in I, Accra, I actually grew up in Takra Day and, and some people said Takradi was as expensive, if not more expensive than Accra. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But that was that was in light of the recent. Uh, oh, yeah. They had this finding. They found oil, and so the mining companies and all came there, and I think that affected everything. So it's expensive for the right reasons, per se, but expensive now. Okay. So anyway, just to put it out there, the cost of living in Accra is higher than that of Abuja. So this part, I want to ask you because, right. and you people are actually the wrong people to speak about this, but the question is, where are the fun places in Ghana? <laughs> is anybody the wrong people? To ask? <laughs> well, when I was in, when I was in Ghana, <laughs> I lived with Obo and Aaron. We all lived in the same place, and <laughs> we didn't go. Out. We're mostly at we're home. mostly indoors. <laughs> we're mostly at home. Uh. We can oh, we can come over. Oh, this job, this job. <laughs> Monday has come, and we're. So I don't know about Fahad. Fahad, you also don't look. I don't think you're so blouse. No, right? Not particularly. Not really. Not really. So it, it, Sometimes. You are like us. Oh, okay. But, Which means you are better. That means you should answer yeah, this question. I'm not. No. Like, oh, I can't well, remember. I can't really answer it very well. Hmm. You are going to say Labadi Beach. No, not, not just Labadi, Labadi Beach. I can remember <laughs> that we went for a couple of trips and I like, went to Aqua Safari. Went to... Uh, oh, when are we forgotten those ones? Yeah, when that when we got there, we didn't even want to come back home because we saw reform. But the thing is, we started to experience those towards the yeah, end. towards the end. In, you know, we came in, we were senior students, facing yeah. our books, you know, because that's what our parents sent us to do. And yeah, you, you, you know, you know, you know the, the funny part of this is that we had a Ghanaian <laughs> friend. He didn't even do anything. I, I just didn't understand this guy. Anyone does not know anyone understand this guy. It's because he didn't eat his food. If he ate his food, he took you out. If he had eaten banku, I would have taken you out. This is not food. This is not food matter. This is not food matter at all. So, That's crazy. anyway. I'm the worst person to ask this question. <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, <laughs> If I must default place, fun places to go where? Labadi Beach. Akramo. Akramo to watch a movie. And Labadi Beach. Um, Actually, Akramo to watch a movie. Akramo. I witnessed it on a few occasions. Is, so it, is, it, uh, uh, is it copyright? Is it copyright? Coffee Lounge. Uh, coffee coffee Lounge. That was if it's home. Yes. If it's house. <laughs> if I please tell us why you like Coffee Lounge. If I please tell us why you like Coffee Lounge. I was in Ghana end of January and I still order coffee lounge because I love it. Yeah. I love coffee. Lounge. And it, let me tell you guys why he loves Let me tell you guys why. All this one she's saying is grammar. 
It's because the rice is plenty and it's cheap. Very free. Seriously, hey. Man. Like, no. It's not expensive and it's plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was if it's me, Coco. And then I actually liked it because I had those small, small meals. I like to be eating and chewing, you know, stuff like, hmm. Okay. Mm. So you guys try coffee lounge. The nice, nice jollof. Actually, my parents ate there yeah. when they came for my stuff, and they liked jollof. My mom still talks about Ghanaian jollof. Said it's nice. So Nigerian, Ghanaian jollof is not that bad. Wow. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Let's I think we're in the video now. Yeah, let's let's call Kat now. Let's we are done. Yeah, we are done. We are done. And that's serious. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> Coffee lounge jello rice is okay. Mm-hmm. Let's just leave it there. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> I, I actually think I also think um that there there are more places to go like Osu. Personally, because I grew up in the western region, mm-hmm. uh, the the beaches in the western region are actually quite nice. So there's the Buswa Beach, then there is on Cobra Beach. Are you over? Let me start with you. What's one thing or some things you admire about Ghanaians? Ghana or Ghanaians? Which Ghana? I didn't say. Eh? Are you Ghanaians or Ghana as a whole? Ghanaians, the people. Okay, like I really do not have much Ghanaian friends apart from. I don't even say I don't have much to say. <laughs> yeah, school and just this Aaron that came in to spice the, my my stay in Ghana a little bit with this is Ghanaian spice. How how did he spice up? I, at least at least he was taking good pictures now. So at least that one was in all spice. <laughs> that's, what? That's it. It's just yeah. the pictures. But, yeah. <laughs> Sharon, thank you for being a tripod. I <laughs> saw. And uh, okay, Philip. Uh, thanks to Philip. Thanks to Prince uh, Prince Asari, and they were cool. If you say about Ghanaians and Nigeria, well, you know it's very difficult for me to because they're Ghanaian. One, I know one one. <laughs> no, the the thing is, I've actually been close to people from both countries. And one thing I do like about yeah, it, out of Ghana. So yeah, exactly. One way, one way to get. So, so. I read your words. What I admire about. Sorry, I was what, what I admire bread. about. <laughs> Food. <laughs> what I admire about Nigerians is the is the solidarity they have. There's there's this solidarity between Nigerians that I see. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist between Ghanaians, but with Nigerians, there's this like very like tangible kind of brotherhood. Like you can yep. see it. Like you yeah. you can you can feel it. That's true. You yeah. get it. And then when a Nigerian is your friend, I can say this about guys because I have a couple of uh, Nigerian guys who are my friends. I'm not. I have Ghanaian guys who would go the same mile for me, but these guys. People that like, you know, they would go the extra mile for you. Like these are people that I could call up at two in the morning or three in the morning, tell them I'm here, I'm 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 in trouble, I have, and I would count on them to be there for me. You get it. Uh-huh. And so it's I, there's 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 nothing negative. I, can, I I have yet to come across someone who is Nigerian and has displayed the characteristics that people often describe. You know, like they yeah. lie and they cheat, and they, I, I have yet to come across that. I mean, uh, if I'm a, if I'm a uh, captain, there are other people in Radford I had the privilege of, of meeting and talking to, and they are all wonderful people. So it, it's sad how a, a, a small fraction of people are used to, you know, generalize <laughs> for 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 a huge group of people. So any, I mean, it comes down to human mentality. That that's the same reason why someone sees me and wonders whether I'm a terrorist or not, because <laughs> they're used to seeing someone with the, the color of my skin, you know. 
So it's like, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's funny. Like we could walk into a bank and I'd be with a bag and then sometimes I myself crack jokes about it. I'm like, what if I was to drop this bag and run? Well, what would happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like, it's, 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 just, it's just this kind of stereotypical, yes. <laughs> just this stereotypical way of thinking that exists. Oh, and, and yeah, and so like, like Aaron rightly said when he spoke, I, I, I really don't want to differentiate people based on their nationality because People can be good, bad, and anyhow, regardless of where they are from, the religion they yeah. ascribe to, the color of their skin. I mean, these are things that are completely irrelevant to the nature of a person. And I think mm-hmm. it's something we all need to, to keep reminding ourselves. Of. Yeah, true. true. Yeah, true. well said. True. I don't... These guys are really dope. You know, I've been hearing yeah. stories of all these Nigerians are bad, they're this, they're that. But I'm like, these guys are really dope. Anyway, so um, I like Ghana Jollof. I like Ghanaians. And I'm saying I like Ghanaians because I wouldn't have met all Ghanaians, but the individuals I've met, I've, ne- I've met nice people. And the people around me, they were very hospitable. Even in my church, mm-hmm. even in my school, they were nice people. And they are nice people. They are still alive. <laughs> they are nice people. And I'm still friends with most of them. Come on, Taiba. I'm back. So if I would say one thing I like about Ghanians or admire about Ghanians, uh, they're very hospitable. And... Hmm, <laughs> I, I was saying, like, let me just say it. When I met Aaron's mom, like the way she welcomed me, I was really shocked because I thought, you know, they would have this old, oh, like, like she would have this Nigerian thing, you know. But she was so hospitable, and I'm not the one that chooses food. Like, oh, I don't pick food, so. When she cooked for me, I sat down and I enjoyed the fufu and light soup, and it was mm, awesome. So I love Ghanaian food. I love Ghanaian food. You know, the Ghanaian. funny thing about that thing was that the fact is I don't like food. So when she came to the house that day, and then she that she's not like picky food. about food, it was like okay, it compensates for you not liking my not liking to eat enough. Move away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was so cool. She was like, I don't care, like, Ma. Ah, I'm so cool. I'm so cool. And you all know, you know I like food. So I like watch I like Kenke. Kenke, I ate it. I ate it just a little bit. A few times, yeah. I didn't eat it a lot. I like Banku. Mm. I like light soup. I like granite soup. Name it. I'm going to eat it as long as it's edible. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I also like Ghanaian food. So we've spoken a whole lot, a whole lot about um, various things, even in Ghana, as Nigerians, as white-ish people. <laughs> Those who were born in Ghana, who still don't know anywhere in Ghana. <laughs> Change and travel more. Anyway, this has been one fun and exciting video. It was really, really, really awesome. It's been awesome. And let me just let everybody know you don't need a visa to go to Ghana. One musician did a, a song, African, what is that? visa in Ghana now. Dania, when you're going to Ghana, you don't need a visa. Yeah, you don't need visa. When you get yeah. in there, you get the 90 days stamp. After that, you need to get the residence permit and a non citizen editor. If not, you know, well, it, be like, it has changed. I think it, it has changed a little. The last time I was there, you know, you always use flight. Except if they are using flight. No, let me try to. No, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like, the last time I used board and I came to Ghana, like, if you don't have the address of the person you're going to visit, they send you back. 
Oh, for real? I don't I know. Yeah. Wow. Last time I came, it was like that. You have to okay. provide the address of the person. If it's not, if you can't provide, they send you back. Ah. Uh, well, anyway, I think it's needed. Even at the um. At the airport. Listen, when I came this year, yeah. I feel that I was going to. I wrote the address and I came. Uh, I don't, this one, they send you. Even if you don't have any address, you put that for the university as address. Uh, <laughs> people that don't know, we just think they are going there. But they sent a lady back when I was coming. A lady was sent back. Uh, after going all the way. Yeah. Uh, wow. A long journey. Anyway, so at this point, I'm going to say, Medassi, Medassi. Aaron, how, how much would you rank the, the Aaron, Medassi? Aaron, don't say I've spent five years in Ghana and I can't speak to you. What am oh, I saying? Well, you said it. <laughs> Please. Five years in Ghana and she can't Every speak to you. Five years in Ghana and I can't speak to you. Medassi, why? Yeah. Um, Mr. Um, we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> you're not serious. I think you're better than me, Mr. <laughs> hey. okay. I know, right? Anyway. Yami Boa, um, we'll see next time. Yami Boa, what? Thank you. Let's go, please. God lies. No, 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 no. God willing. God willing. God willing. God willing. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm actually right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. If, if, in case I didn't say, these people in this video are one of my close friends that I made in Ghana, and they are still close to me, and I love them so very much. And I'm glad that we're ending this video with them. It's like no other way, no other way to end this year. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> when you're saying Afishapa, I seem like some broth like Afishapa, Afishapa. <laughs> Afishapa. <laughs>